Alright, YouTube part two. Yeah, I know it kind of uh, cut off there. These two are acting a fool. So, uh, like I was saying, we're not rushing her. You know, when she's ready, she's ready. Um, like I was trying to say earlier, uh, when I got these two, it was basically as uh, we just, it was around Christmas time, and we just, ah, you know, we kind of wanted a dog, you know. Just bought a house at the beginning of the year. Let's have, let's get a pup, you know. I haven't had a pup probably about almost 10 years. I had a little blue nose, half brindle back in Pittsburgh, you know. So I might get a pup. I didn't think about anything about, you know, breeding or anything. So unfortunately, these two are registered. I uh, only paid, you know. You know, a few hundred bucks for them, you know, and then uh, symbol was first, and then, you know, about a month later, uh, yeah, about a month later, after Christmas, I got found, I got Nala, you know, Facebook just chilling. And, you know, I just started research on food and, you know, what to feed them, and they didn't think anything about breeding at all. And then uh, I just came across a couple of videos. I think one of the first videos there was um, Aaron. From Queen City Bullies out there in Cincinnati and uh, Raul QBN uh, Kendall down in Texas and I'm watching them and they you know, start talking about breeding and these dogs and you know because I've always been you know I'm old school I'm 39 years old so I'm always been like pit bulls you know pit bulls was my favorite dogs and I look at these dogs like man some nice looking pit bulls and um I'm saying they were XL bullies. I'm like, all right. So I thought bullies was just like a slang terminology for pit bulls. Like, all right, bull, pit bull, bullies. All right, all right, cool. So um, I'm like, all right. And they see another video like bullies, and I see these little smaller ones. I'm like, all right, you know. So I'm, I'm checking. I'm doing a little bit more research, and um, I'm like, I'm seeing these pups, they're going for like five grand, 10 grand, 15, 20 grand. And I've seen some smaller ones. And, you know, some of these ones, they look, kind of look like frogs, like toes. They're like real small and, you know, they're running and their bellies are dragging. I'm like, I don't know about those ones. I mean, I, if I want a dog, I'm like, I don't, don't want to play fetch. You know, I have family. I don't, I don't want to be tired out in like five, five minutes and they pass out and die of heat exhaustion. You know, I want to pup that strong and runs and you know can protect you if, if necessary if need be and um you know and then i'm saying you know making money well, you know it, it could be and then i see like the the work that they actually put in and it's almost like almost like a, a farm you know like farmers go out they take care of all their you know their, their animals or cows and, and chickens and you know and things of that nature and um and, you know, I'm like, you know, I, I love animals and always want to have, like, a farm and stuff like that. And they have a ranch, what we call them down here, ranch homes. You know, they have big yards and everything. So I'm like, you know, this this is something that I might want to do, you know, like, raise. And, you know, like, the happiness that we got from a puppy, I like to do the same thing for another family or help somebody else start a program. Like I said, you know, going back to it, like, unfortunately, they're not a registered dog, to be honest. You know, I'm not going to lie say they are. But my plan was to, um, which I did talk to a couple of people. I actually text Aaron from Queen City Bullies back in February about the bubby breeding before the bubby breeding was even, the, the, the puppies even came about. And, uh, and, um. You no, know, I discussed it, and then I'm at the time, I'm like, you know what, I can't. The puppies were already, like, puppies. They're tearing up the house. I'm like, you know what, I can't. You know, I'm working. I can't. I don't think I can have another pup right now. You know, they're already too much. So I'm like, you know, I'm just going to hold off. You know, I talked to a few people down here in Arizona, too. You know, there's bad, a lot of badass bullies down here. Exotic pockets, XLs, you name it. They have it down here, too, on the West Coast. So, uh... You know, I'm, you know, I got this home and everything, and all my, a lot of my money went to this home because I bought this home, which is a mobile home trailer, and uh, and we had we remodeled it, so we put a lot of money in remodeling this home. The way this looks now did not look nothing like this. The floor, the color that you see, the cat didn't look anything like this. 
But back to the dogs, like I didn't, I didn't have the money at the time for that because I had to put the money in there. But you know, my main focus was getting the house together and stuff like that. So the plan is, you know, obviously, eventually she's gonna have pups. When I don't know, maybe next year. The plan is the pups that I, you know, that that come from this, you know, I, I can't have a whole house full of puppies. So right now, I'm gonna have to probably get. Uh, well, at the time, not now, at the time. You know, I'm going to really sell the pups and the money that I can get from that or make from that or the money I can make from working because I do work, you know. Um, put it towards um, maybe something that I'm interested in that's actually registered and, and then and go from there. Most likely be a female. Uh, I know there's a lot of studs and, you know, stud fees and stuff like that. But um, I think uh, my plan is probably just grab a female, maybe a pocket. I'm into the pocket standard at, around that area. Uh, XL, maybe it's a little too. I don't kind of want to XL. XL, maybe pocket. Um, you know, pocket standard and around that area, you know, compact type of dog. And, uh, you know, maybe find some type of a uh, nice stud. And, you know, go through that whole process and, you know, just take take it there. Um, so, yeah, that, that, that's been the plan, you know. I, I, like I said, I've been approached by um, an English bulldog breeder. But I was telling her, you know, yeah, I don't know too much about English bulldog. Like, this whole year, I've kind of been just doing research on, on just American bullies. And uh, I think that's that's the route that I'm going. I said it's, I got a patient. I understand, you know, I, I like to get some money up, put it aside just for any type of medical bills and stuff that I would have to pay. You know, just in case something happens, I just want to be ready to go because I know it's gonna. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have to put some money into this. No problem. You know, I'm not doing this by myself. You know, actually, my girl girlfriend is all aboard. You know, she's excited about. All of this too, you know. So I don't want to put her in a situation. And uh, yeah, you know that's just that's just my plan. Uh, like I said, it's just patience, and you know, it's, whenever the time comes, the time comes. But I do have a plan. Like I said, it's gonna be pocket standard area. Uh, I'm not too exotics look nice, but like I said, I, I don't want a dog that has. You know, not 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 to knock any of the exotic bullies or anything. Uh, you know, I kind of want like a, just a dog that's kind of strong and it can move around. And you know, I can take it outside for walks. I live in Arizona, and I know a lot of these exotics and smaller dogs. They, you know, they take a lot on that English bulldog. And um, you know, from what I researched, you know that they, the heat is not good for them. You know. And like I said, I'm in Arizona, and we get temperatures of 115, 110. You know, it's still hot, and I want to be able to take them out, you know, with my family. And, you know, because my family has dogs, too. I want to be able to play, and, you know, I don't want, to want him or her to be out there for 10, 15 minutes. And I got to bring them in because, you know, they can possibly die or something, and, you know. So, which is any dog, you know. You can't have a dog out in the heat. You know, we don't want to be out in the heat, you know. It's, it's it's too us hot for us to be out in the heat. You know, we have to have our water. We have to stay hydrated, and so do they. And, uh, what's up, Cindy? So that's basically it, you know. Yeah, what's up, Mom? What's up, Mom? She loves her toys. There's some toys. Got a whole box. Whole box full of toys from Amazon. <laughs> They love it. It's just been like Christmas for them. They got toys under the couch, everywhere, outside, you name it. This guy, for some reason, likes to eat the toys after he gets done with them. I know because I've seen it come out of you. Now I have to take them away from you, right? Yeah. That's Nala. So, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, you know. 
I appreciate the people that show me love. Bully more bullies. Perfect vision bullies. You know? All the uh, QBN kennels. Queen City Bullies, Transformation Kennels. There's there's so many. I mean, there's so many. Five or four, five oh four pit bulls. I see he just dropped the litter. There's a lot of y'all out there. Sorry if I forgot some names, but the same videos y'all watch, I watch the same ones too. That's where my inspiration, motivation comes from. But you know. I'm going to get these guys outside and uh, like, comment, subscribe. Smash the hell of that like button. I appreciate y'all. Good night.